we'll move on into your financial priorities. What are your financial priorities? So after you, after you determine where you stand financially, it's time to establish some goals, okay? So the best place to start is to review your priorities. That's what matters to you. So maybe you want a new refrigerator. <laughs> maybe you want to save for college, finance a car, or put a down payment towards a home. So Dale has this uh, the next um, slide up, and we can look at what's go what we have here in section A will kind of help us set some financial priorities. So when we think about how we would prioritize our money, think about if you had if you just won, say it was a community give day and someone just gave you as a citizen of your community a hundred thousand dollars how are you going to spend that hundred thousand dollars thinking about how you would spend a cool hundred g's if you had it really sets down for you the the, the framework of hmm i think this is important i think that my business is important. you know giving to me is important um home repairs that's important to me you know doing a little something for myself that's important to me so now you have an idea about your priorities and how you would set that up so if we think about that flip side if you if you just lost your job and you need to make spending cuts in your day-to-day -day budget you know what would you cut if you just suddenly lost your job what's going on? So now we know those things aren't a priority. Now that we know, you you know, we have that idea about what they are, you have a clear vision, you, you can write down your financial priorities and list them um, on a scale from one to five, one being the lowest priority, five being the highest priority, okay? And so you list them and then you rank them and then give your, why are you ranking them that way? Because if you don't know the why behind the thing, it's hard to really get behind it. You know, your why could be, okay, I just want to give back to the community. Or your why could be, you know, I want to leave a legacy for my children. Or whatever your why is, is th that's what's going to keep the glue together when it comes. You know, you can plug that boat, but, uh, you know, if you don't have a good why, you don't have a ceiling around it. So that when it comes to putting all these things down on paper and really, really working through honestly very honestly working through your finances but it's all about being financially successful it's a little bit of work it's not that it's not that much work i mean but it is a little bit of work but uh it'll it's going to pay off it will pay off it'll give at the very least it'll give you that you know what it is mm -hmm. but, that's where you at that's the least you'll get out of it and and if you're slightly motivated going through this process understanding what your priorities are ranking them and your why your reason that that's a priority then that should uh hopefully that would keep people motivated as to as to why they're doing what they're doing to do the little bit of work that that it takes to set it up once yeah once you get it set it's you know it's you're set you've already done the hard part in the front now mm -hmm. now that you have it set you have a system in place it's really okay let me just peep it make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to do my money's right everything's paid yep everything i got my savings yep check check it's basically check 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 yeah in the beginning i will say that the hardest part about putting it all together is going to be the frustration you feel when you mm -hmm. see what you spent that mm -hmm. To be, yeah, and I'm telling you, it's a moment that's make you want to throw your pen across the room. But once you get past that initial frustration, that will increase your why to continue on in this process.